Nah, this ain't nonsense, this is non-fiction. So excuse if the content is offensive, it's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain, you were entertaining me. What's good everybody, it's your boy Don Fiction, come back at you one more time with a brand new product review. And this time it's from our good people at Social, Social Nature. So for those that don't remember, Social Nature is a website that you can sign up, you can join, and it allows you to try new products, or some products are, are new to the market, fresh in the market, and most of the products are all healthy in nature. Healthy foods, healthy snacks, healthy cleaning materials, healthy drinks, uh, healthy caffeinated beverages. They have it's so many different things on social nature that are pretty awesome that we've tried so far. And we have we have a whole lot of reviews coming your way. So please bear with us. We have a bunch more. I know people have, some people have asked questions about them. Some have requested stuff. So once again, socialnature.com is a great place to go if you want to check out new products. Now that we kind of talked about that for a quick second, let's get into the product. So right now we're doing Olipop. This is Olipop Ginger Lemon, and this is Olipop, well, this is this is root beer, sorry, and this is Ginger Lemon. Um, two flavors, I, I think this is going to be more like a ginger, a straight up ginger ale with a kind of twist, like a twist of lemon, so I feel like I'm going I'm to like this. I've always liked uh, ginger ale beverages, and you can't go wrong with a classic root beer. I love root beer. I love, love root beer. Now, if you're like me, you have, you know, you have your issues with trying to curtail the, the 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 want for carbonation and a lot of times we, we kind of try to settle for carbonated waters you know carbonated waters with lime carbonated waters with cucumber carbonated waters it just there's so many options and sometimes as a person who enjoys just a good soda those just don't work and i i do drink plenty of water especially if you come by during stream you see that i drink plenty of water and take plenty of bathroom breaks <laughs> But sometimes you just want just a flavor of something. Now, with Olipop, you have seven different flavors. You have classic grape, vintage cola, classic root beer, strawberry vanilla, cherry vanilla, and orange squeeze. Great choices. Of course, when we went to the store, these were the only two available. Just to give you a heads up. So what we're going to do when we do these reviews, we're going to give it a, a table of 20, possible 20 points. We're going to start with accessibility and in, in accessibility, we're going to talk about costs. Um, then we're going to talk about the marketing and the packaging of the product. Then we're going to talk about the website and we're, then we're going to talk about the overall experience or in this essence, the taste, the taste experience. And each section is five, it's four sections are worth five points. So we're going to give it a total score by, at the end of this review. Who or what is Olipop? Olipop is a thoughtfully crafted tonic that found its taste in wholesome, hardworking ingredients instead of spoonfuls of sugar. Now that's coming straight from the website. Their founders are Ben and David. They have a shared vision of a healthier, tastier future. Um, it says, just, just to give you information from their site, we've assembled a global team of leading human, uh, human gut microbiome research pioneers with diverse expertise spanning digestive health, prebiotic uh, structures, model gut systems, gut microbiome, supportive nutritional strategies. We work with them to translate cutting edge research and findings into Olipop's product development. Now, that actually sounds like they're really, they're really doing their best to try to bring forth not only a product that tastes good, but a product that's doing its best to be good for you. Now, I know that when it comes to a soda product, it's hard to, to make a soda that has zero sugar. Trust me. The, there's we all know that companies have tried and failed gloriously we've seen a lot of sodas that come out come and, come and gone that no longer exist because they didn't taste good and that's the whole thing when it comes down to a beverage once once you pop that top the first experience of soda is popping the top and then to hear the fizz and then the taste some people it's the smell then the taste if those don't work together in harmony it doesn't work Every 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 can has the pop. Every can, for the most part, has the fizz. Some might stall out pretty quick because what's what's in them is not truly enough to hold that fizz. But they all don't have the flavor. They don't have the taste. Okay, so let, now let's go to our our list. First is accessibility. Also, we're going to talk about costs. So on the website, you can actually click. They have a store locator. You can go to the locator, of course, put your address or even just your zip code, and it'll tell you if there's any stores available in your area. 
Now, for my area, I know they're at Whole Foods, but they're also at Sprouts and they're also at Target and Super Target. So, accessibility wise, out of five, out of five, we'll give it an easy four because most tar Target is generally everywhere. I know there's a lot of places, some places, some small cities, some small towns do not have Targets, which is understandable. But Sprouts, there are boutique places that you can find them. So, and even you can order from the website. Now that's that's a plus. So right now we're gonna say it, we're gonna say it's a four. Now when it comes down to to the idea of cost, the when I actually went to went to get my beverages, each one is the cost of two dollars and forty nine cents per a piece. Now for the typical quick buy beverage drinker, I don't know if that price is gonna fit most the average soda drinkers price range. Because when they start to go into two dollars and forty cents, that's probably them getting the energy drinks. That's that's usually what those prices kind of kind of twelve kind of go down to. But on average, a, a regular can of soda, especially nowadays, you can get fifty nine cents. And then in some places that are outside uh, grocery stores or WalMarts, you can actually get them for twenty five cents a can of soda. So in that aspect, I don't know if that's a plus but i think the people that this is kind of directed to are those who are already in the realm of you know supporting digestive health in their in their everyday lives so this in that aspect it might be okay for them but for the everyday beverage drinker the soda drinker it may not fit what they're looking for so in that i'll give it a 3.5 because i don't think it's out of control but at the same time i don't think it fits the everyday person Next, we'll go to the marketing and packaging. Packaging, of course, I actually like the cans. I think they're they're done really well. They're appealing to the eye, uh, and they have the information, good information about the company. And then, of course, the ingredients right here on the marketing and packaging. Marketing will come down to the website. The marketing kind of goes into the website category but we want to talk about the website separately so so far for packaging we'll give we'll give it a i'll give it a solid five on the packaging i like the packaging. The only thing they probably can do is probably make brighter colors but that's just that stands out for kids that's totally different so now we're going to go to website okay welcome to drink olipop.com so this is the first page you come across when you when you go onto the website and it tells you off the bat finally Soda that's actually good for you, and it gives you quick information: two to five grams of sugar, nine grams of fiber, and seven delicious flavors. And they show you all all seven flavors right there in front of you. Gives you an option to shop right away, and then it goes into the that the fact that it's a, a different type of soda, a new kind of soda, and what makes them different. Olive hop tastes like soda that you grew up sipping, but with added benefit of microbiome and digestive health. With plant fiber, prebiotics, botanicals, and a tough a uh, touch of magic, we made soda healthier and more delicious. Another option to shop now. And it gives you quick information to meet the squad, which are the, def the seven different flavors. And it's easy to, easy to maneuver, very simple. Then it gives you, this one I didn't know. I didn't know Camila Cabello was an investor. And it kind of gives you information of what convinced her to invest in the company, which is pretty dope. They also offer repeat service or subscription service. Because they know that the way the world is right now, lot, people are a lot less likely to go out and go find it, find the product because people, more people are just not in, not willing to go out and about and be as out there as the world used to be three years ago. Then they have, uh, they give, they also have this right here, which is uh, the Alipop Digest. It says our functional delicious soda combines up to date microbiome, digestive health, uh, science vetted and studied by the top microbiome researchers in the world and then that's what i was reading earlier so then if you go and click you know check it out it actually breaks down even more information as far as what's in the soda why it's healthy what makes it healthy what makes it good for you like it's so much different information and if if for the average person is looking to have you know good gut digestion good good, healthy, digestive guts. This is a great way to inform them, to show them what you're doing to make better options to be for, you know, for your average, your average consumer. Healthy meets delicious. And this is where I was reading from the information about Ben and Dave, David, who 
are the creators of Olipop. It should, the information about the research partners, and this, it gives you each research partner's name, where they where they come, and a full bio on their works and who they are. So they're backing up their they're backing up what they're saying by putting putting the truth out there. Like this is what this is who we're working with. This is what we're doing, and this is our message. And it gives you good quotes, good good imaging. The one thing I will say about the website now with these pictures. I would say instead of them being clip art style, you know, have a professional photographer take a picture of a woman by, you know, sitting probably at her desk uh, working or probably at home uh, watching TV or whatever with the plants and with the beverage in front of her. Uh, And this one just, which should be a product placing picture of the product in a glass looking very delicious and refreshing, um, but also just in a great photo. Now this one, I just, I see, when I see this picture, I'm like, Instead of having someone draw this picture, the idea of having any person, male or female, meditating outside, you know what I'm saying, with the soda next to them and a, a great image in the background of them or an image that's in front of them, like a river, a cavern, a beach, you know, you know, the woods, anything would be so cool for this picture. So in that aspect, out of five, out of five, I would say I would give it a four. You know, I would give it a four for sure. Okay, now we've checked out the website. We've done, talked about the marketing, talked about accessibility. Now the last last thing to get into is my experience, my taste experience. So we're going to start off with the ginger lemon. And like I said, I just think it's going to be like closer to ginger ale. Strong hint of ginger right, right off the bat, so I love that. Oh, like real, real ginger with the hint of lemon. I like this. This is tasty. This is really, really good. This this is good. I can taste the actual ginger in it. I like that a lot. Next, class root beer. Now, I want to make sure it's good enough to where, like, could I have a root beer floats? That's the question. That's the question. They didn't work with those cans. I need better pops on these cans. I need better pops on the cans. Mmm. Smells like liquor. That smells like licorice root for real. Like it smells like the root itself. I love the smell. It's funny because it tastes like I mean it smells like it smells like root beer, but it's it's a candy that interesting. It, is, it smells like a candy I used to get when I was a little kid. Hmm. It tastes like that. It reminds me of that licorice stick, like a hundred percent. It's not like your typical root beer beverage that has a very strong root berry, root berry taste. So when you belch, it's just like the world smells like it, but it tastes good. Taste wise, my overall experience, I would give it a five because I really enjoyed it. So as an overall experience, 16 out of 20, that's actually not really bad. Would I recommend them? I would say yes. I would recommend to anybody. I like the beverage. I would say try them out if you have the opportunity. I think there was a link in there that said I can refer a friend. So if, if there's a link for a discount that I can put on the on on and it's in down below, I'll put one in the description. If not, I'll just put the link to the website. So you can check them out for yourself. But once again, I said they're available at Target. They're available at Whole Foods. They're available at Super Target and other uh, oh and sprouts and other boutiques this has been another review off of the social nature website my name is nonfiction hope you guys have a wonderful day night evening morning noon wherever you are in the world today i appreciate you i love you i'll catch you on the next one peace love i'm out you guys